Tyra is taller than me, right? Tyra? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she wouldn't reach. Wait, 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 everybody is. Ooh, I mean, ugh. not yet joined the discord that's a mistake there we go now i'm in Pardon me, I'm doing my social media updates. Cool. Alright, that'll do. I don't think I'll go around and share it through everyone else's Discord. Um, where's my OBS? Jorkin. Jorkin, hello. <laughs> we do not have any Jorkin characters, but I could make one. Blaziken. Blaziken, I do like Blaziken. Um, Jorkin. Jorkin. <laughs> Jorkin. There's a faint. It's gonna be your legacy from now on. Yeah, I know. There's a ghost, faint ghostly ripple of chalk. Forever gonna be known as Jorkin. Faint ghostly ripple of Jorkin. There we go. Um, is this that, uh, that one AI generated thing you mentioned a bit while ago? Yeah, so what I did is I there's this website that I'm not going to advertise because it's I hate AI. Um but basically you could enter in a certain amount of text and then you could click and it would kind of predictive text the like t the next few sentences, I guess. And basically I mean for the most part it came up with absolute nonsense. Um some bits were like okay, there's some kind of structure to this. But it was kind of like, okay, the, the, I don't want to criticize anyone's story unfairly. So I generated a story in order to specifically break it down as to why it wasn't working. And this is also a very good uh, reason as to why AI writing will never be anything in comparison to what a human can do. Um, so yeah, it's some of it is very weird. Um, and it, the first one I tried was actually absolute bollocks it's just a whole string of rubbish is it even there yeah like it's like part way like article speak and it has stuff like complete non sequiturs in it so it's kind of completely unusable like skeletus what does that mean but, um, interesting yeah are you feeling skeletus today let's get I really want to see this text now <laughs> Yeah, I mean, some of it... Where is it? Uh... <laughs> Jealous of skeletons. Um... Yeah, like, it just... Thank fart gods. Why Why did the... Oh, there's a thick erection in there. Whoops, we'll ignore that bit on, on Twitch. Um, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be there. I didn't write that bit. That was the oh, AI. Oh, yeah, you, you mentioned that. Yeah, you mentioned that to me a while back. It just, I completely out of left field. Um, so you can tell what kind of text they've fed into it, and it's literally just everything in the hope that it sticks. But obviously, because the AI doesn't know what kind of story you're trying to write, you know. Uh, and actually, I found I tried to do one earlier in the week, and I started off with a, a couple of input lines of text, and then it completely ignored everything I'd done, and then just started writing its own story. Um, but it was so banal, it was so terrible, so like repetitive and cyclical. They basically went out to eat like three times in a row, and that was apparently engaging story. Like, no, you can. An AI is is absolute shite. It is never gonna. It's never gonna match the purpose and intent and emotionality of someone who actually has a story that they want to tell. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, anyway, that's my that's my rant about it. Um, th there's sorry no... for crashing your party, by the way. No, 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 no. You you're more than welcome. I I opened a Discord so that you could be here, and that was it is lovely to have you because you write you write stories and and you do RP and things. So, you know, yeah, it is not a party crash at all. It is an open invitation. I am just. Or else is in the shower, and then we're gonna go to lunch. Ooh. Because we do late lunch, because the what is waking up. <laughs> yeah, fair. Yeah, I understand. Um, Are okay. you streaming today? I'm streaming right now. <laughs> oh. I am on stream. Um, Embarrassed. That's okay. I did not get the notification. <laughs> it is fine. Um, uh, so yes, I'm doing story editing and, and looking at how to... to bring this into some kind of coherence. Um, there's a faint ghostly ripple of air, and suddenly Tyra appears, leaning over the balcony and waving a paw at us. Um, I guess I have to read a little bit further on to work out exactly why they're gathering, because there's no introduction to the mate for this to make any sense. Hello, welcome. Eee, this needs to move a little bit further over. My paws are I've never here. seen that tiny little chibi you before. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is a, an art by uh, Wikipixel on um, uh, on Twitter, and they I have this at the end of all my my YouTube videos as as part of my end card because I think it's very cute and I like the techware. Um, this is mean. Trick would never say that. Uh, shit, there goes the view. Well, we could just move, but I like the view. I do, because it's Tyra. Tyra's cool. Um, I guess the problem is, one of the fundamental differences with with a story like this, where it's written, I don't want to say ostensibly for me, because it is a fanfic. There's a, when you're writing a fan fiction, there is a, an established knowledge base that you assume that your readers are going to know. If you're in, presenting a story like this to an open audience, then you need an introduction for every single thing that is every single element that is like this is the base this is the room this is the character this is what they are this is the situation that they're in because in fan fiction it may already make sense the fact that you just mention this base this character and people are going to know exactly who they are um so um this may need Unfortunately, that all just privy only to the two of us right now. Uh, yeah, it is. But I mean, it, it's important to, um, you know, for people who are who want to know how to write stories and, and need to understand that the knowledge that you have is not necessarily going to be knowledge that the readers have. And sometimes you need to go in and, you know, very specifically add that knowledge again. Um, so let's at least... I mean... Sorry, go ahead. It gets more exciting when you have like established fanning fanons like a Turf Island, where you have uh, certain characters that the fandom has assigned traits to that are absolutely not in the book, but are just from like several writers spontaneously using it at the same time. Oh yeah, that's cool too. Like, like sort of spontaneous, spontaneous uh, fan canons and head canons that get sort of slowly accepted. Um, no, yeah, I like stuff like that too. Um, so let's add a bit of context for this to make sense. Uh, where's my music? It's not playing my music. It paused for some reason. Why did you My do skull this? was crushed by the perforator. Oh no! There we go. Grinding his cringe, cheating his face. <laughs> so even like a cursor introduction is going to be enough for people to understand what this is. So we gather in the common room of the large repurposed prison ship that homes the Omega Nine Special Task Force. Um, an elite. And you wouldn't necessarily introduce a story in this way because it's a lot of info dumped very quickly. Uh, and it, but it helps me to understand what the focus of this story is going to be if I know um, 
what everyone is supposed to be doing. Because then you can trim the focus all the way down. <coughs> throughout the Imperius. Someone by the... Does it stop after every track? Why are you doing that? It's a playlist, right? Supposedly. <laughs> what is it doing? I, uh... I don't understand. So I signed up for this thing that is supposed to, uh, you can see it, Slipstream, and it's supposed to g give me a playlist that says it's a playlist. And I, who knows why it is not actually playing the list and just playing one at a time. Anyway. The world may never know. Uh, summoned by Commander. Gray. With the green eyes. Uh, you and your wolves, Arch. This is this is the. Oh yes, no. I there are a lot of wolves actually. Gray and green seems to be a, uh, a habit with wolves that I have relations with. Um, the, this is written in third person present tense, okay. He scratches his... Uh, Did you say third person present tense? Yes. Uh, you have a we in the beginning. Fuck. Well, I mean, actually, no, I, it's I, because I'm in here as well, uh, for some reason. Because I always write my fan fictions in, in my point of view. Okay, so it is it is first person. Uh, my mistake. Uh, music stops again. What is the point of this? <sighs> what? What is the point of this? Why did it, the music stop? Oh, fuck it. Do you way. have, like, your options set to be... Stop after track. Mm, no, don't think so. Nope. Who knows? Maybe it's shuffle play is, is wrong. Maybe if I turn shuffle play on, it'll... That's a nice one. Anyway. Uh... Alright, everyone here. Uh... Look around literally. Um, the white furred wolf. Raise a hand with a hard half yawn. I can spell. Coffee. Swelling it to coffee. I forgot, does I drink coffee? Uh sometimes, yeah. Okay, cool. If he is quite out of it. Okay, we'll we'll assume that the out of itness is pretty high in this instance. Uh Drop 
grinding his crew and just cheating his face. <laughs> I say adding items to my inventory so I don't have to deal with grinding out bosses to get them. Oh, is this Elden Ring? Uh, no, I'm playing uh, Terraria. Oh, okay. Calam uh, it's the uh, Calamity mod and there are a few very cool drops that I did not want to have to grind for. Ooh, fair enough. I need my I need my Laudanum item, damn it. <laughs> oh, I format this differently. I do I do lines between each thing. Uh, there's a faint now. Now it makes sense. Now the beginning of the story makes sense. Okay, there's a faint ghostly ripple of air and suddenly Tyra appears leaning over the balcony waving a port at us. An elegance jackal port at us. Uh, holy fuck, Fox whispers. Looking around at everyone with an awkward, relieved smile. Uh, I am not going to have Trick say, say that, because... I think Fox is more likely to say that, honestly. Thank fuck. Hello, E! Welcome! <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, let's say that to Rena. I'm doing okay. I, I wanted to, to do some story editing because I really like writing and uh, want to get into the habit of doing some, some story stuff and, and do some writing stuff on stream for, for folks to kind of, I don't know, if, if they have any questions about their own writing or want to see what an, an edit looks like. Oh, you wrote gargoyles? Oh, that's cool. Why are you not in the right place? No, I had physiotherapy today, which is nice. Finally trying to sort yeah, my neck out. Yeah, how's your neck doing? It's all right. The The physio seemed to think that I am still suffering from symptoms of concussion. Um, so, um, I... She warned me off doing certain stretches that I had been doing that might be making things worse, and gave me some other stretches that will hopefully make things better. So that's that's a good progress. You are totally welcome to write about my scales. I have a lot of them. It might take you a while. Do you write about them individually or collectively? Because that's an important question. Um, and then one with a. With, uh, one for mornings, or or being kept waiting. Uh, those of you. Indicates that it is not serious, that it is. Uh, he did not mean it. Flicks, because I cannot remember what tense I'm writing in. Say this. There's no, there's no indication of which character said this, so I have to, we have to pick one now. Um, who do you reckon would say that? Uh, who do you reckon would say we could just move? Playing in with Fox's jokes. Hold on, I need to. Did he come back? I need to, I need to, I need to tune back into what you were writing. <laughs> Reset position. Whoop. There we go. Yeah, I've got, um... Uh... 
honestly, I have no idea who might say that. Yeah, it's it's tough, isn't it? That one feels just kind of like a line that was tossed in for the sake of having a line. Yeah, that yeah, it's it's a, an easy habit to get into um, trying to do like two different responses to the same joke because you're not really sure about which one is is going on. It's best just to keep the better one. And I think yeah. the better character interaction is actually this, where it's like you you establish the banter and then. Um, Th that builds more of a relationship between them than like something like this because dialogue play is fun but it's better to use it as a tool to like build characters <laughs> tyra reappears and waves where did she go why did she reappear she didn't even leave uh, uh, Tyra. A wink and a wave. Well, Tyra is the one who typically banishes. She does, yeah. Yeah, but there was I no, just... like, <laughs> there was no, like, anything. I... Yeah, I was the one who typically does the, the teleporty bullshit. Exactly, yeah. A wink and a wave. Boy, I love building houses. Who doesn't? Uh, I'd... The, the story decided that everyone was going to cheer for the fact that she was coming down, which does not make any sense. But it also doesn't make sense. Everyone cheers except for me, as I have a hard time containing my excitement. I, I can't contain my excitement, therefore I don't cheer. Why, interesting. Yeah, this, this, is, this is the... This is, AI, AI writing has now become such a serious problem that there are sci-fi publications that have had to close submissions because so, much, so many people have submitted absolute dog shit just on the chance to try and get money for printing it as if these people who make these magazines aren't reading this you know it's not just about volume it's about if you want a story to tell you have to tell a story you can't just throw words on a page and have it be like you know oh yeah that's obviously a sci-fi story cool we'll do that it's people acting as if they have the same lack of uh artistic merit that they do when they create these things wasn't there an entire um, publishing house that had to stop submissions for a while because of that? Yes, and there are more and more that are actually having to close. There was one um, one that very famously had never like closed uh, submissions before that now had to. Um, so that's a shame because these people are rubbish. But yes, you're correct, that did happen. Leap motion tracker is not being my friend right now. Uh, I guess that's a bit closer to where I'm actually typing. Burst out in a single word. Ah, this word articulated your excitement through vocal tones versus obviously. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. No, it's a good way of, of putting it. Or if we were really desperate to show that everyone was excited about the fact that we can now get on with what we're supposed to be doing. Like, um, we could do everyone. I don't think it's a cheering situation because everyone we've established that everyone was really tired. So uh, everyone, new flash trailer. Ah, uh -huh. I have not seen it. I don't, uh, can't say I've been particularly excited by any of the DC movies. But uh, if you're excited for it, then I'm happy for you. Um, oh yeah, there was a uh, there was an article I saw that was like in a uh, private screening of the uh, of the new <laughs> Aquaman film. Oh yeah. It was like universally said by the people that watched it that were like, "This is the worst DC movie I've ever seen." Oh no, that's which bad. is like 
You've got to try. I think you got to try really fucking hard for that to be the case. <laughs> well, they're mad because everybody liked the first Aquaman movie because they had hot Aquaman. Yeah. Do they not have hot Aquaman anymore? I, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I think it might be the same actor, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the the studio seemed very upset that people liked an Aquaman movie because Aquaman oh, was one of a lot of jokes. I see. Yeah, Ezra, Ezra Miller is an absolute POS as well. He, they can, yeah, I think that they can fuck off. Also, yeah, I think that's why a lot of the heckin' um, Flash movie trailer focused on everyone who wasn't Ezra Miller. Yeah. Yeah, DC can't let me down if I never watch one. Yeah, this is very right. fair. <laughs> Um, I have seen Shazam. I, I liked Shazam. And then Zachary Levi ended up being an anti-vaxxer. So I'm like, well, fuck you for give, give me the one thing that I had that I liked of this of this DC continuity. And then you just. Yeah. Anyway, uh, everyone. Uh... All right. Ralts is out of the shower, so I'm going to pop off. Okie dokie. Have a good stream. I'm probably gonna hop on and work on um, a link to the past right later today on stream. Ooh, that sounds fun. That sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, yes, thank bye. you for joining and bye. Bye. <laughs>
Um, I would be more than happy to do that, but uh, obviously I want you here for it so you can see like what I'm what I'm doing. Um, but I love it. I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta. Get... Okay. It's voicemailing. <laughs> But yeah, I love editing. I, it's actually one of my favorite processes of writing. I find writing to be kind of a slog sometimes, um, but uh, editing I love. And why did this all stop? Do you stop when you get to the bottom of the page? Load more songs. Load more songs. You are not loading more songs. All right, never mind. We'll have no music. Um, Something must be wrong with this particular thing. Who knows why? I mean, it could be non-furry stories. I'm not necessarily doing only furry stories because everyone is like, um, are you just not Okay, working? I'm back. Yay! Just some dude who got the wrong number. Okay. Let's have more music again. I only I only do fairy stories just because I it's something that I find interesting. Um, I don't I just like fairies. I want to write about fairies, um, like things things that I really like, enjoy to emphasize the furriness of characters is like when I do the wolf here, he shakes his head and his ears flap, um, and up here his tail flicks because uh, fox is a fox. I, uh, shock! I know, right? Shock and horror. I like fairies. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Um, Who could have guessed? Yeah, completely, one hundred percent out of left field. Um, but yeah, this is unnecessary. Uh, so, if we want to establish that she's awkward about something, it'd be like, uh, horny. Have short firm experimental creative for non fiction? That sounds interesting. Uh, she uh, turns to the side, turning her back on us. That's an odd way of phrasing that. Um, she. Uh, Sandwich. Thank you for the time. I eat the sandwich. And I shall eat the M&M. &M. Um. Uh, she looks down slightly. You know, I don't. I don't think that she needs to be shy. Um, Tyra is not shy anyway. Don't understand. I have to go and manually add all this stuff. Anyway. Uh, wait, what? What is this? This doesn't make sense. She gasps, turning back around. She covers her mouth with one hand and looks at us in, in shock. Shock at what? She knew we were there. No. The, the green ones are where I have done edits to change the story. So you can see the, the dark text is what the, the story originally was. Uh, oh, you got a PNG tuber. That's exciting. Yeah, um, yeah the green is, is bits that I've crossed out or added in to make story happen. This is where we make story happen. Nashville switch up tail. Uh, whoa. For no reason. Sorry for the wait. Uh. Uh. 
unnecessary. There's no need for that. Uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, she chuffs. No, not at all. She's already looking at me. Why am I bouncing to get her attention? That is so needy. Wow. I mean, I might be, but like, what is this? Not at all. Oh, you too. Yes, me. If you just take the dialogue, um, by it's, oh, it's, I'm not, I'm not a particularly brutal editor. This is a shit story. Um, sorry for the wait. Oh, no, not at all. Oh, you too. What does that even mean? This is, this is going out. She grins, bouncing a little, reaches up a poor f up. She's taller than me, isn't she? What? Tyra is taller than me, right? Tyra? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she wouldn't reach. Wait, 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 what he is. Ooh, I mean, ugh. Uh. Short. <laughs> so mean. Short. <laughs> uh, yeah, this doesn't need to be there. Um, she grins. Are you able to deny it, though? That's what I thought. Right, 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 right. Uh, anyway, she anyway. grins and reaches a paw for mine. Take it and squeeze it tightly. She doesn't seem to mind. Of course she doesn't seem to mind. She reached out for it. Uh, she gives me a kiss on the cheek. I do a lot of squeaking. Uh, I guess that's in character. Yeah. Um, this is this is Cyrus. Yes, this is. You are not insane. Cyrus owns most of these characters, so. Um, it is me. Yes, uh, she gives me a kiss on the cheek. She makes me squeak again. Thanks for waiting. She says. Okay, I, I try not to have two sentences next to each other <gasps> that begin the same way. Squeeze it tightly. Uh, uh, which makes me squeak again. Uh, uh, LS120 says that you did a a good job on the World Pangolin Day stream, Cyrus. Thank you. Again, okay. This is too many squeaks. Everything is squeak. I squeak. I squeak. I'm squeaking more than a pool toy. I, I mean, that's how you normally sound like during a stream. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Damn. Hey, can you deny it? I win. Uh, right. I like the view. I uh, murmur. So let's get rid of these squeaks. Yeah, where's the lie, Ark? No, 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 no. I, I have such a good and low voice. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. I heard that through your mic. Fine. Uh, you hi. are squeaky. I... Whisper. I was missing a dialogue tag there. Oh, it's a piece of wall. Okay. She grins, bouncing a little. She makes me squeak. And bristles the fur at my cheeks with heat. Thanks for waiting, she says. No problem. I, uh, if I'm meant to be awkward, let's stammer instead. Mm -hmm. Try not I to. stop rolling over the cord for my microphone. I will not. Well, not mic, my ear, my headset, rather. Uh, try not to let. Wait, what? Try not to let myself go limp from the excitement. What the hell? What does this mean? I don't know. Do you go limp with excitement? <laughs> do you like flop? That's, that's, that's like what you could do. I mean, I probably could. If I tried. Uh, no problem. Try not to let myself go limp. What are my wings? Limp it up, limp it up, limp it. <laughs> just flop everywhere. Wacky and flavorful two man. We can do that. Wacky Maybe that's what I mean. Anyway, uh, I stammer. Try not to. 
go taut from excitement, potentially rigid. Uh, what well, I'm not excited though. We've established that this is not an exciting situation, except for Tyra. Um, try not to let. Uh, try not to let the touch of a hand and kiss go to my head. That makes more sense. That's actually describing what it is I'm I'm excited about. Excuse me, tighter, and I can feel every part of her hand even through the fabric. Fabric? Through, I guess, maybe she's wearing gloves. Uh, the... Uh, so all thin... Leather of her gloves. I feel every part of her hand is kind of nice, but doesn't quite make sense. I'm tempted to leave it. It feels like she's like, I'm pulsing like, she's squeezing my hand. Okay, so uh, I guess I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, so what's going on, Tex asks. Is this serious? Oh, a line I don't have to edit. Bray shrugs, scratching under the chin of the plushie. Uh, if gloves aren't established before, I'd want to just cut it. Yeah. Let me. Maybe. Maybe Tyra's take the living elegant jackal paw at us. Uh, uh, she's dressed in. Grest. Dressed in her mission gear already. A set of. Uh, Marksman's gloves. Probably why she was taking a while. There we go. I type fairly fast. I make a lot of mistakes, though. Uh, so what's going on, Tex asks. Is it serious? Bray shrugs. Scratching under the chin of... Scratching under... Uh... Asked from the sofa. Um, giving a sliding. Uh, oh, Texas ears stick up, right? Huh? Texas ears stick up, right? Say that again. Texas ears, they stick up, don't they? Yes, yes. They do, okay. Uh. Scratching under his chin. Can't, uh, don't even know if I'd awake enough to tell us. A leak? There's a leak. Okay, if we're going to mention a leak, then it's going to be a new thing. Uh, figured it might have been to do with a leak in the hot tub. Uh, needs fixing. Whoops, there's a full stop that doesn't need to be there because it's the end of a dialogue tag. Uh, he says, um, uh, Tyra, Niana is the one that'd be grumbling about that. to scavenge scavenge was not hydroplating I 
to it in a bit. Let's sort some other things out, shall we? Uh, he pulls a map from his pocket, spreading it out on the ground. Why would he spread it on the ground? Table. You know, I suppose it worked towards different goals. What does that mean? This is the kind of shit that AI uh, generates and tries to infer that it's like a some kind of story. Uh, I'm going to move this because it's actually slightly away from where my face is. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Cause now it's going to think I'm not where I am. Ah, there we go. Okay. What different goals? What is he talking about? Okay, let's read on a bit and see if it explains anything. So this is what we have. You've agreed to focus on different areas of Omega, but there's a lot going on. We need a central place so we can work on our projects. And not just for your own benefit. So we should put up a base. You're in a base. You don't need it. It's a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's a terrible idea. That's not going to work. We need to send out a survey team to help us find somewhere. Oh, he, he, he's looking to establish like a ground base, I think is what he means. I don't think I'd do that. I don't think strategically he would think that's a good idea. Um, let's change this a little bit. You can still look for a base, but let's say that they're looking for a base now that the team has expanded. Um, and... Ah, oh, for pity's sake. Yay! Okay, I hope it goes well. Good luck at the doctors. Uh, we're getting shorter space. Uh, not in that, but we're beginning uh, to contracts that will. more quickly. Yeah, notice that. There's ticks. Okay, so this is what we had. You've all agreed to focus on different areas of Omega. We need a... into more of a hub than a ship. Um, but we don't Is that spelt right? It is not. I thought I'd done it and now I can't. Maneuverability. Oh yeah, because there's the O in it. Maneuverability um what is it called when a, a, what's a binary star system is that when it's just one uh binary is i believe it's like two stars it's two stars okay yeah that's right uh forming to a binary station Don't worry, I'm using the British, it's fine. Yeah, maneuver. Then in the, the British one, the, the O, there's O, there's all sorts of vowels that aren't really necessary, like the British. Um, uh, so, okay, forming. We're looking for forming to a binary station. Ooh. Twinsies. Who says that? Who would say twinsies? Uh, 
Bray is fun. Uh, S and Z. Yeah, oh, it's not in a lot of words, but maneuverability seems to be one that I use most often. And I still can't spell it. Um, maneuverability and bureaucracy are two that I have a really hard time spelling. I have to rely on spell check to get that for me. 